raw speed isn't everything in a foot race. In distances beyond the quick sprints, power can be trumped by better strategy. Matthew Centrowitz Jr. knows this. It helped him take the bronze medal in the 1500 meters in 2011's World Championships. Speed for the 1500 meters is a lot of strategy, a lot more things that go into it than I thought when I first got into the sport. When you're racing, a foot race is basically the objective is just to finish first. As you grow older, you learn strategy, and then you find out sometimes thinking strategy doesn't work. It's too much strategy involved, and you over-strategize, or you overthought a simple thing, and you go back to your basics, and you see what works for one person doesn't really work for you. Centrowitz lacks the speedy credentials of some of his competitors, but his racing tactics are sometimes smarter. He rarely takes an early lead because leaders are vulnerable. Championship races like the Olympics don't have pace setters to start the race and then drop out, so the leader must set the pace and cut through the wind without knowing what the runners behind him are doing. Centrowitz likes to be near the front in the first two laps while waiting to see how the race unfolds. Most track athletes will define the 15 as an event that's half speed, half endurance. Sorry, you start the race fast, you close the race fast, and then in the middle is just um, the strength part, I guess, just um, jockeying for position, um, making sure you're staying relaxed. At this point, lane position is also important. Too far inside and he could get boxed in with no room to pass. Too far outside and he has to run farther to keep up. I see my son as a perfect blend of speed and stamina. And obviously, um, some people have fear of distances and fears of this. My son doesn't have those fears. The last lap is fast and chaotic, when runners jostle for position and decide when to kick to the finish. Centrowitz knows from experience that he can't go from 0 to 100 all at once, so he tries to find room to ramp up his speed and ideally pass the leaders. You don't need to be a rocket scientist to be good at running. You know, you just think about going out there and you know, not thinking too much about the, the intervals, just get out there, put hard work every day, and you know, you're gonna get good results. Well, you know what I mean? The pressure of being number one scares people, and I don't think that's, that's not what's going on with Matthew right now. Now, it could change, and no one knows the future, but if I personally see it, I just see a fearless, hungry, young athlete that just will get better and better.